There's something special about a woman who dominates in a man's world. It takes a certain grace, strength, intelligence, fearlessness, and the nerve to never take no for an answer. Rhiannon. Hi everyone, it's Cindy and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to be sharing this new apartment with you today. We are creating a luxury executive apartment in Uptown for a girl boss because we love a girl boss. So today I'm building in 1020 Alto Apartments, one of the larger apartments in San Myshuno. And this apartment will come with a rather hefty price tag of 114,731 simoleons, but it is perfect for your girl boss sins. So this apartment is laid out in like an L shape. And what I decided to do was here by the entrance section this area off and make this gorgeous large office slash boardroom space and we will later on be creating like a little waiting room out by the entrance and my idea here is that this girl boss has her own business probably one that she has built from the ground up that she runs out of her apartment in uptown and she has clients and stakeholders and other business partners come here to her apartment to her office and so she has this part of the uh, the apartment kind of sectioned off to deal with all the business stuff. And then the living area is further along into the apartment. As you can see, I've gone with a very neutral, soft pastel color palette with these warm beigey cream colors, a bit of pink, a little bit of sage, soft blues, and I love how this turned out. I think this boardroom with the amazing view over uptown is just beautiful. And while this is a very large apartment, I really created it intending for just a single sim to live here. My idea is that the girl boss lives here by herself. She is an independent person. You could certainly have her live with a partner. There is certainly enough space for two Sims to be living here. Uh, but in my mind, it was just her running her business, doing her thing. And then I also thought, well, she might want some companionship. So I do also add in uh, some dog items because I think she would have a large dog. And in my head, I feel like she would have an Afghan because they're just so exotic looking. But uh, I could also see her having a Chinese crested dog because I think they are just so cool looking. But unfortunately, Chinese crested are like the one breed of dog the game doesn't have, which is quite unfortunate. Anyway, absolutely love how this office turned out. And I feel like this office and boardroom space really set the tone for the rest of the apartment. But now we are jumping in here to the living room, dining room, kitchen area. Now, I did play around quite a bit with how to lay out this TV console area. So you'll see that I've cut some of it out because honestly, it took forever. Uh, but as I kind of work out the layout of the living room, dining room, I have a question for you. So let me know in the comments if you were to download this uh, apartment, which you absolutely can. It is available on the gallery. You can find it using my EA ID or hashtag Higgahaven, H-Y-G-G-E-H-A-V-E-N. You can also search for it under the name Girl Boss Apartment if you have trouble finding it. But if you were to download this apartment into your game, Tell me about the Sim that you would have live here. What is she like? What is her name? What business is she running from this apartment? Does she have a dog? And if so, what kind of dog does she have? I would love to know or send me a photo and tag me on Twitter. I think that would be so cool to see all your girl bosses. Put them up. I want to see them. So the living room, dining room is coming along. Um, it was, as I said, very spacious and I actually replaced the fireplace. This is not the original fireplace that is in this apartment when you load into it. And I actually used tool to remove the original fireplace because first of all, it did, did my head in that it was not centered. 
to the outside bump outs of the building and also with the extra large wall height because there's medium wall height uh, walls in this apartment the original fireplaces that came with the game are so tiny they just were not proportional to the size of a fireplace that this room requires so I used tool to delete that fireplace and I put a new fireplace in so bear that in mind if you do download and install this apartment um, just be aware of that. Uh, you might also know uh, or notice that as I'm scrolling through the catalog here, I have like this expanded catalog view. Now, if you have not seen that before, it is part of Twisted Mexi's Better Build By mod. Uh, and if you do have that mod and you weren't aware that you can expand the catalog like this, you just need to hit, it's either the one key, on my keyboard it's the number one key, or the tilde, I believe it depends on what kind of keyboard you have. Uh, but I've started using that and it has been fantastic to have that larger catalog view. And I really, really loved how the living room and dining room came out here. And I love that Moschino light that I've used, the chandelier over the dining room. Uh, I like never use that in my builds, but it fit in so perfectly here. And even though it's just a single sim that I envision living in this apartment, I've made the living room and especially the dining room with all the chairs really large because I feel like this girl boss, she probably holds like events and parties may be connected to her business quite regularly. So she uses that space and has other people over quite a lot. But we've jumped into the kitchen now and the kitchen is also very large. I actually found the kitchen quite challenging to do, to furnish, because I'm not used to having such a large kitchen. But I think I do get there in the end. I'm quite happy with how it looks um, at the end. I really like having the table here in the corner, like on a diagonal. You've got a great view out of the window, but you can also have a nice view across the apartment as well. Obviously, we're using a lot of Dream Home Decorator in here. And the only thing that kind of frustrated me when making the kitchen were the upper cabinets. Um, I don't know. They... They they weren't quite what I was looking for, but I, I think I think they get there. I also realized like halfway through building the kitchen that I put a range hood over top of the oven, but that's not where the cooker is. Uh, the cooker I have placed in the island, so it doesn't really make sense for there to be a range hood over there. Uh, but then I had put the hanging pots and pans over the cooker, so it also didn't make sense to put a range hood over that then. So I swap it over just shortly here to above the sink um, right there, and I'm envisioning that that's more of kind of like an over the sink light, and that's my head cannon, and I'm going with it. Uh, but I think the kitchen turned out really well. I realized at this point that I had tried to put a bar in the living room, dining room, and it wasn't working. And I set the bar off to the side thinking, oh, I'll work that into the kitchen. And then I completely forgot until that point. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll put the wine fridge in and then realized how big the wine fridge is. So that also did not happen. But I did put some bottles of nectar from Horse Ranch up on the shelf, but I take those out off camera later on and I just put the decorative wine bottles from Base Game there. And I think that works really well. And then if you don't have Horse Ranch, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, not being able to get the download because there's only a couple of items. I, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, we are now jumping into a very kind of luxurious bedroom space. The bedroom is not only very large, but as you can see, we have a walk-in closet that I am working on here. And of course, we also have an ensuite bath. Now, originally when I started the walk-in closet, I had used the Get Famous closet items, but they just did not match with the rest of the apartment. And that's when I realized that's kind of silly. Um, we've been using Dream Home Decorator. Let's just keep it consistent. So we have a cohesive vibe throughout the entire apartment. So I deleted all of those out and then I fiddled around with all of these and it took a while. I feel like with the modular pieces, you really have to play with them a lot before you get the look that you really want. But I think it worked out really nicely. 
Now here in the bedroom, I've gone for more of a green. We had a couple of like sage green hints in the living room dining room, which I really liked. And I was thinking of carrying that through to the bedroom. But all of the sage green wall colorings um, didn't really go with the rest of the wall coverings that I'd been using elsewhere in the apartment. So I went with something that was more minty, but I didn't really like it. So here you can see we've switched back to the creamy beige and the bed that I chose had this blue pillow on it. So we've got some blue accents in here to match with that. And of course we needed to have a vanity. So I've popped one of those bad boys in here cause our girl boss, she needs to be looking her best on a day-to-day -day basis. I've also got lots of like little candles and little plants and things sprinkled throughout. Then I wanted to include like a little seating area here. Of course we have the nice big living room with the fireplace, but you know, sometimes you just want something a little smaller, a little cozier. So I've put this little like TV snug lounge area into the bedroom as well. We've got lots of little books here that your girl boss can curl up with and read, whether they're, you know, our trashy romance novel or, you know, business books completely up to you, whatever she's interested in. I think I've got some yoga magazines sprinkled around throughout the apartment because we will soon also be adding a private gym and yoga studio to this apartment as well. So we're just finishing that cozy little area off and then a couple of decor pieces in here. I also swapped out some of the plants, yep, right there by the window because I didn't feel like they really actually fit with the rest of the bedroom. And then I also realized I didn't put a dog bed here in the bedroom and that would probably be the case. So we add that in. And now we're on to the ensuite. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but in my mind, I feel like having the separate bathtub and double sinks is very luxurious in a bathroom. And I realize that if you only have a single sim living in this big apartment, it doesn't really make sense to have double sinks. But again, that says luxury to me. So I went with it. So we have double sinks regardless. But we do have a separate shower and bathtub. If your girl wants to take, you know, a relaxing bubble bath, she can. We've got a beautiful long, you know, lit up mirror and the cozy little sheepskin rug. I have tried not to clutter the apartment as a whole too much because I feel like, you know, when you're looking at something very luxurious and posh, it's not overly cluttered. And let's face it, the last apartment I did with the neighbors just moving in, um, that was very, very cluttered. So here we're going for much cleaner kind of vibes. But now we're moving into the private gym. And of course we need to have a sauna in our gym. So I've popped one of those bad boys in. I like never use the sauna option. So it was nice to be able to include that. And then we've got a little separate bath here. The idea being, or a separate, separate shower room rather. The idea being, you know, that that's the one that you would use after your workout. I could also see this girl boss being the type who has like business meetings while working out like a business workout meeting and she has like clients over to the gym and they work out while they discuss business and then that shower room the client can go and use and then she can go and shower like in the ensuite was kind of my idea as well. It takes a little bit of fiddling for me to kind of work out how to lay out like the yoga studio items and then the workout equipment. And I also pop in a massage chair here, or not a massage chair, a massage table. I feel like at the end of the day, she'd be the type who would have like a private masseuse come in and she'd have like that Friday afternoon massage, get herself ready for a relaxing weekend after just slaying it all week. Um, but you know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, but I eventually did get a layout that I quite liked. I do spit around and I'm like, Ooh, let's put this on this side and let, let's put that on that side. That's apparently just how my brain works. We've got a little bit of incense going in here. And then we pop a couple of plants around as well, because you know, you can never have too many plants to be honest. 
And then here we are at the entrance. So we're nearly finished this large, large apartment. It took so long to furnish. I've never, I play in these every now and then, but I've never actually furnished one for a build, but I really love how it turned out. And this entrance area, I especially love how this like waiting room turned out. We've got like her business name and logo and a comfy little sofa there, plus some magazine articles. But that is pretty much everything for today. So if you enjoyed this video and this build, a like is always much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, why not consider subscribing and click that bell to be notified. I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I enjoyed making it. But that is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave you with the screenshots. Have a lovely day. Mm -hmm.